Hello, Downingtown Middle School families. We've had some questions about how to read the master virtual middle level calendar versus the schedule, which your student has that is their personalized schedule. So we just wanted to record a short video to help you out. As you see on the screen, on the left hand side, we have the middle level first marking period schedule. This is the time schedule you're going to be following each day along with the period schedule that gives you the uh, information about whether or not it's a synchronous or asynchronous class. Now, on the right-hand side, you will see a sample middle-level schedule. Based on the first marking period, we will not be worried about homeroom. So you do have a homeroom teacher listed. However, we are not having homeroom during the first marking period. So that information will just be for when we return, eventually, to the brick-and-mortar building. Now, we're going to begin for the first day of school, looking at our middle school courses template over here and A day. So day one of school right here is our A day. You will see for A day and then C day and E day eventually that live classes, synchronous classes via Zoom will be first period, second period, third period, and fourth period. So for A day, what does that mean for first period on the first day of school? Well, I'm going to go over to my sample schedule over here, and I'll see that A day at the top of the schedule, and first period for this particular student is Miss Weichel, Family Consumer Science, which means when I go into Schoology, I'm going to look for this course, 7711, Family Consumer Science with Miss Weichel. I'm going to go to that course in Schoology, and I'm going to click on her Zoom Links folder once I'm in her course. Please refer to our other video on how to do that. So next, second period, which goes from 840 to 925, would be American history for this particular student. So I see that Mr. Basilio is teaching the American history section. And I will go to his course in Schoology and click on his Zoom folder, and there will be the Zoom link for that live class. After Mr. Basilio's class and I have a five-minute break, I will go to third period at 9.30. Third period is science class. And then after that, you'll see that fourth period is phys ed class. Once again, you'll go to Schoology for those Zoom links, and that's where you'll find them. Then you have your lunch break on the first day of school from 11.10 to 11.55. After that, the remainder of your classes are asynchronous, so they won't be meeting live via Zoom. And this is where we've gotten a lot of questions about the schedule. On your infinite campus schedule, every student has a lunch listed. For this particular schedule and student, their lunch takes place during seventh period. Now at the middle level, our schedule has split periods for lunch, and this is where some of that confusion for people is coming in. If we were in the building, classes would be split up based on which lunch the student has. Since we're not in the building, and since we're running off this schedule over here, everyone has the same lunch break, as you can see. Which means, below the lunch break, we have all the split periods listed, because students could have three different lunches, and then we have our 10th period here. So for this particular student who has seventh lunch, we look and we see that after period four, their next class is period five, six, and that is writing with Mr. Hagee. So when I look over here, I find period five, six, I see that period 5-6 takes place from 12 to 12.45. It's asynchronous on the first day of school, and it's Mr. Hagee's class. So that's where I'm going in Schoology. I know that seventh period would normally be my lunch. So that means I do not have a 6-7, and I don't have a 7-8. My next class after that seventh lunch period there would be period 8-9, and that is English Lit with Ms. Shinsky. So the next period I'm looking at on the schedule over here is period 8-9. So let's look again real quick. 
I had period five, six after my lunch break. That was Mr. Hagee. Then my next class is period eight, nine with Ms. Shinsky. And that's from 1250 to 135. So five, six and eight, nine are back to back. 12 to 1245 for five, six. 1250 to 135 for period eight, nine. Then finally, the last period of the day for this student is period 10, and that is math. And period 10 over here, you can see, goes from 140 to 225, and that is an asynchronous class. Now, as you go through the rest of the week, you are simply going to follow the schedule using the letter days up on your infinite campus schedule. So I'll just give you one more quick example. On the second day of school, First period B day for this student is German Expeditions. I found the B day at the top of their schedule up here. I went down to their first period and I saw that it's German Expeditions, which meets from 7.50 to 8.35. And on B day, the second day of school, that will be an asynchronous class. So on the second day of school, the first live class that the student needs a Zoom link for would be their period 5-6 class, which we know over on this schedule is Mr. Hagee for writing. This has been our short video explanation on how to look at the two schedules next to each other and especially how to understand the split period schedule. Thanks very much. Have a great day and good luck on day one.